Hi guys. When I start the vlog, didn't like it, so as usual, start again. So here's the here's the new one. Um it's currently almost midnight. So it's quite a late one because uh well, I don't know. <laughs> I've just had a lazy evening, I hadn't really done anything. I was uh at a friend's today, um Helping him, uh, well, I was going to help him put the shed up, but I was awake late anyway. So uh, he'd managed to get the walls up of the shed, so I pretty much helped him do the roof. But the roof isn't complete. Um, almost complete. We're about two thirds done with it. Uh, so we were bad going. He'll finish it off tomorrow because I'm going to Mum's. Sunday is Mum's day. Um, it was um, great fun. He sold um, two of his dad's mountain bikes because all the mountain bikes he, or all the bikes he's got there belong to his dad. Uh, and his dad got them from the recycling centre where he works. So, um, that's where, um, my Silver Fox, which I have, it's sitting here, I'll show you it in just a second, um, that's where that would have come from, but he's got another full suspension mountain bike there, which is kind of, uh, tickling my fancy, so to speak, it's a Dunlop, um, whoops, I just stood on the pedal bin. <laughs> I didn't realise I was, I was um, that close to it. Yeah, I like the Dun Dunlop. He's got a nice Saracen there, but the little aluminium Adralia hanger has broken. Um, I'm not sure I'd want another Saracen anyway. His dad is actually asking, well, I keep thinking his dad is asking too much, but when uh, my friend can actually get around to fixing them up before he sells them, then yeah. Um, because the prices my friend gives and the, what his dad wants are um, the done up prices. Uh, but, uh, I don't mind paying full price, as it were, because I can just fix them up in my own time, I don't mind doing that. Um, it's got a Shockwave brand there as well, which has got a nice frame. I adore the frame. But the front forks are the triple clamp style. They are rusty to hell. They, they ain't any good. So if I got that, I'd have to change those. Um... The um, rear shock completely knackered. That would have to be changed again if I can get the bolts off. So maybe at a later date I might go for that one. Um, but I am tempted. I won't see my buddy till next weekend because he's busy all week. Um, so I probably won't get my stuff till next weekend. No hurry for it. No hurry at all. Um, although I would like to have got it done and dusted out of the way, but of course the shed's got to be done first so he can get his stuff in it, in it, um, and out of the garden. So that's got to be prioritised, which is understandable. Doesn't bother me. Like I said, like I said, I don't mind so long as uh, I'll get it eventually anyway. <laughs> um, if you weren't so busy during the day, during the week, we could have probably have done it one evening, but he's working all day Monday and he's working all day Tuesday. So I very much doubt after doing a full day's work that he's uh, going to want to lug a fridge and a freezer up my stairs. So, yeah, we, uh, we can wait. We'll wait. Um... 
suppose I'll show you the bike. Just to turn the, flip my screen over so I can see what I'm doing. Get the camera in my hand so I'm nice and comfortable. There we go. So here it is. A Silver Fox Orb. Um, bottom bracket bearings a shot. See, absolutely shot. Um, I'm pretty positive that those gear shifters are not the original. Because I've had Silver Fox bikes before, and I've never had one with these old thumb shifters on there. I think they're called thumb shifters. So I've got a feeling, and going by the condition of the gear cables, and the fact that the rear one lacks a cable end on it, and a heck of a lot of cable hanging off the dry the air at that, more than what you'd get from the factory, to be honest. I'm guessing, well, like I said, I'm probably about 99% certain someone has fitted these shifters themselves as a preference, you know. They most likely like the bike, but preferred those shifters. A lot of people do that, they change parts. It's fair enough. Um, the only other odd thing is, that front wheel is actually a rear wheel. <laughs> And I noticed that when I was looking at it at my friend's today because I didn't really get a good look at it. When it was at his, in his shed at his flat, I didn't get a good look at it because there was loads of stuff on it. I just sort of saw the colour of the frame and whatnot and thought, I like that one, I want that one. But yeah, there's a, thread, a threaded section on this hub this side for a freewheel. So uh, <laughs> I'm guessing someone threw that in there just so they could uh, wheel it around. Um, well, I've got a couple of options. I've got the old set of wheels from my Claude Butler that I could throw into this one. Uh, or I could go and pinch the aluminium, or the silver aluminium wheel I've got in the um, shitty GT downstairs that I was using to tow trailers with. I could bring that up here and chuck that in here. Uh, that just means it would have odd wheels. Because um, I haven't got a black front wheel which can um, hold a brake disc or a brake rotor. Uh, I'm also pretty certain. Ah, just stood on something. I'm also pretty certain that rear derailleur is not the original one either. Possibly, because the front one is black, and they normally put derailleurs on a bike as a pair. Normally. So I think there's a there's a chance there that's not the original. I think there's a chance there that that's bent as well. No, nope. there might be a little bit of twist in the bracket that holds it. Which, um, as that's a steel frame, if it is, I can just twist it back into inter alignment. That's not a problem. I'm just worried about bottom brackets because uh, there's always a chance they won't undo. <laughs> um, but my plan is. I'm going to buy the Dunlop, probably, and uh, I'll get both working. I'll get this and the Dunlop in a working condition, and I'll ride both, and I'll see which one I prefer, because I do want to keep one. Um, but the reason, even though I've had some nice ones in the past, you remember the um, Apollo, red and black one, that was a nice one, but I just didn't like how it felt when I rode it. And... Uh, Pretty much, if I don't like how it feels, they get sold. So I could actually do both bikes up and end up selling both. <laughs> um, especially if I don't like either of them. But I wouldn't mind trying the Shockwave. I might eventually get the Saracen. Uh, I may take my hangers down there. Um, to his to see if one of mine will fit because if I've got one that will fit then I'll probably buy it off him for the full 50 quid because it's worth that done up and like I said I don't mind paying that but I don't want to spend that much money on it and uh, not have a hanger 
Although both halves are there, so it shouldn't be too hard to find one. And it is a relatively sort of um, standard shape. Uh, but yeah, I might go for that one. Sort of a charcoal colour. Quite a nice colour as well. I don't know. It's um, a hard tail. It's got front suspension, but I pushed on the forks and they uh, sort of stayed down. They didn't come back up. So they would need a good oil, I should think. A bit of rust on them, but I should think with a bit of a clean and uh, some oil down them. Now they'll spring back to life. <sighs> yeah, that's all I can talk about. A bike. If I do keep this one, and I may actually do it anyway, I'm going to change the seat post to a chrome one. And if I've got one, I'm going to change the handlebar stem to a chrome one. Reason, reason being, there's a lot of black. Black wheels. If I had a chrome or you know, a silver coloured aluminium rear wheel, I'd put that in, a pair of those in. Um, that takes a disc brake, I mean. I've got plenty of um, standard alloy wheels that don't. But uh, yeah, it's got black wheels, black swing arm, black forks, black handlebars, black handlebar stem, black seat post, black seat. It's just too much black. I like black. I love black. But uh, even for me, that is too much. It needs to uh, be broken down. Let me break the black up a little bit. I mean, if that was fitted with V-brakes, I'd stick um, silver ones on. Um, the Dunlop's got V-brakes, which doesn't bother me. I don't really care what brakes it's got, so long as I can fucking stop. <laughs> uh, I don't even think Biggles has got any disc brake wheels now. He's either used them or given them to me, and I've sold a couple of bikes with them, so... Um... I'll have to have a look. Might have one kicking around somewhere. Because if I can find a black one to go in the front there, then that means I wouldn't have to uh, change the rear one. <laughs> I've got black front wheels, but pretty certain none of them have a disc rotor on them, or the, the mount for a disc. It's got a horrible chrome steel crank on it. I'm not sure which I dislike the most, the chrome ones they do, or the painted black ones. Well, actually, they're probably the exact same bloody crank. They just chrome some and paint some black. They both rust, whichever. Now, that's why, if I kept this one, I'd uh, put a better looking crank on it and a better looking rear derailleur, to be honest. I may actually have a look in my box and see what I've got. Not tonight, not tomorrow. That'll be a Monday job. Uh, same for the gear shifters. The only problem is when I ride a bike with grip shifts, I've gotten so used to having the, you know, the rapid fire thumb shifter or the trigger shifters that I sometimes forget and go to do that with my thumb. <laughs> I forget I've got to twist. Uh, Do you think I could get a decent price for this if I did decide to sell it? You know, there's nothing wrong. Well, I say there's nothing wrong. But I think the gears, well, the drive is moving, so I presume that would still work if I, uh, you know, if I just adjusted them. That's probably all that would need. But I ain't going to, because I want to change the shifters anyway. Which is where my. Um, turd that's down in the shed which I will probably bring that up Monday so you'll see that when I make a video Monday you'll probably see that Tuesday something like that um oh that reminds me I've got to put a video up on YouTube I haven't done one today yeah the turd if it's got grip shifts on and they're not too bad then I'm going to stick them on here if not, I'm just going to have a flick through what I've got 
in my box up here and see if I can find a decent pair. Preferably a six speed shifter so I haven't got to change the bloody free wheel to a seven. I've seen people do that and RJ the bike guy on YouTube pointed this out as well. They'll change the gear shifters for better ones for like a seven speed or something but they've still got the six speed free wheel on the back. I then wonder why seventh gear doesn't work. Duh. It's because seventh gear isn't there. <laughs> Um, I would actually find that that standard looking dryly on there would um, work on a 7 speed as well. You just have to adjust the stop and start screws on them, or the stop screws as I call them. Um, but in some cases you do have to change the... Um, drain here as well because believe it or not your gears on your wheel can actually come in different sizes uh, but if you just got a standard size six speed free wheel like that and you're going to put a standard sized seven speed on there then you can get away with using the same drain here but uh, for example I've got that mega drive seven speed with the really big um, first gear on it. Normal drag is like the one on this bike wouldn't work. You would have to change it. And I know that from experience in the past. In my rookie days they don't work. I'll get to second and it will not go into first because it will just rub against the gear. <laughs> so yeah. It's always good to check and all if you're not sure, there's always videos on YouTube, you can go into your local cycle shop, which I might add, we've got one opening up soon. I think he's opening up Monday, so I heard. Something I've always wanted to do, but typical of the job centre, they've always wanted to fob me off and push me into a job, rather than actually helping me do what I wanted to do. It's one of the reasons, way back in the early days, when I first started claiming Job Seekers Allowance. And I can remember the advisor back then actually saying, we don't want to let you go self-employed because you don't have the experience. Well, how the fuck am I going to get the experience if I don't actually try? Because that's always been my attitude. I can try. Even if I fail, I can actually say, well, I tried, that didn't work. We can try something else. You know, I'd rather try it and find out than not try it and not know. No, but I wish the guy the best of luck. <laughs> he's done, he's doing what I wanted to do, so. You know, no sour grapes here. I'll probably go in there myself and have a look. And if he's not too expensive, I might use him to buy cables and whatnot from. Although they'll probably be more expensive than Wilco. But I'll give it a shot, you know. I'll give it a shot. Oh, excuse me. Right, on that note, as it's quarter past twelve, at night, midnight, I'm going to bugger off to bed very shortly. So, I'm going to stop the video here. And uh, I wish you all good night. Well, it'll probably be during the day when you see this, but it's not time now, so good night. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's much appreciated when you do. And thank you in advance if you do. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon, so bye.